This section shows how the wood is assembled without using the nails. The large model in the back is a real-sized model of the roof truss or koyagumi, which is located in the house's attic. First, please take a look at this. This is called the daimochi joint, which is often used in roof truss construction. There are two main types of wood joinery, sugite and sikuchi. Connecting several wood parts that extend in the same direction is called sugite. Connecting joints that are made at right angles are called shikuchi. This is daimochi jointing technique of sugite type, which can be touched and moved freely. This is the hands-on material of the daimochi joint. A pillar comes below this. This is a member that is orthogonal on it. If you remove this, you can see inside. If you remove this long beam member, the inside looks like this. This can be removed easily in the upward direction, but cannot be removed in the horizontal direction. Additionally, a strut comes above this, so there is less impact even if a load is applied or some shaking occurs due to an earthquake. Let's remove this Kanawa joint. First, when pulling out this wedge, space is created in this area. We need to pull this member towards it. In this way, it can be removed easily. When you look at this closely, all the cuts are made at a slant. All of them are simple shapes, but they are created in a well-calculated way. What surprises many people is this rotary gooseneck tenon and mortise joint. Pull out the wedges and see the shape of the face. All four sides have differently shaped cuts. When removing this member, you can see the inside. Pride in the carpenter's strength and skill is shown in making joints like this one. This is not done on site. It wasn't until the Edo period that such work became possible. As the variety of carpentry tools increased at once, the number of chisels also increased. Since then, carpenters have been able to perform fine work and the gooseneck tenon and mortise joint is said to be one of the joints created by carpenters who wanted to show off their skills. This is called a gooseneck splicing joint. This is one of those joints that transmit the high skills of the carpenter. All four sides have the same cuts, and this shape is called a gooseneck tenon. I will not explain how to remove this one. Please try it yourself at our exhibition. Lastly, I would like to introduce the joint used at the southern pillar of the Osaka Castle's Ottoman Gate. The front side looks like this, and you can see the shape of a triangular mountain on the lateral side. This can be easily removed. This joint was considered a mystery for a long time. Finally, an X-ray inspection revealed the mechanism inside this joint. Please try it at our exhibition venue to see how this is assembled.
the Sugite and Sikuchi joinery are easy to disassemble because no nails are used. This makes it possible to disassemble and relocate the Minka, vernacular house, for example. Also, if a part of a member is rotten, you can replace its decayed portion with new wood. and reassemble it with the other members. This way, it would not be an exaggeration to say that. The Sugite and Shikuchi joining techniques are filled with the wisdom of our ancestors who have cherished the wood since ancient times.